I was told when I grow up, I could be anything I wanted to be, so I became financially irresponsible. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. I have to apologize, I haven't posted a lot lately, but things are about to change. Just went out and bought myself another car. Well, I didn't buy it by myself. Me and Alec, we decided to go out and together and we bought ourselves a race car. Now, before I show you what we got, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what's going on. Uh, I wanted to just start doing some actual racing with some cars. I do a lot of autocross and track days. But I don't actually do any wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. So, I decided that I wanted to do some, and I started my own little team here. We haven't come up with a cool name yet, but we did get ourselves a car. And the cheapest form of racing that I could come up with was Lemons Racing. So this is the new race car that we got. It's already a Lemons car. It's racing a few times. It is a 1991 Nissan NX 2000. Now, being that it was already a Lemons car, it's got a little bit of damage. If we look along the side here, we can see that it's already hit something. It got a little bit of damage there. Um, there's some other panels squished in, but overall, it's still in a car shape. And the interesting thing of it is the paint. I don't know how much time they spent on this, but like, it was a water theme. Uh, we found a picture and there used to be a fish on the top here. We may try to simulate something of that when we do something new, but I'm not sure. So I've been looking around for a race car. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. This thing was posted two days ago and we saw it and we jumped on it. We went and took a look at it. Uh, there was a few reasons that we went and bought this one. One of them, we like the way it looks. We also like the fact that it already has a cage in it. it cages are really expensive to put in nowadays because of the price of metal and plus the labor to put it in. We're not really good enough to actually weld something in like that, so it already has one. It's also already set up for fuel. Look, we got the fuel filler here, and it's got a 22-gallon tank already in the back. We may have to reinforce, you know, the brackets for it. It's okay in here right now, but there's a couple of spots that really need to be addressed. It's already got a nice Sparco racing seat in here. So this thing also has ducting on the roofs. You know, comes through, goes down the ducting, blows straight on you, and keeps you nice and cool while you're racing around. Now, if we look under the hood here, this thing comes with Nissan's SR20. So this thing doesn't really make a lot of power. It's naturally aspirated, but it should be something easy to work on and something that we can get parts for. Now, there's definitely a few things underneath the hood that we need to address. Uh, one of them, we don't have an air filter. So what we're gonna do is probably see either somehow take this off, put a pod filter on, or see if we can find a cover to cover that up with the regular filter. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of wiring that's just kind of hanging out. So. If we take a look down here the fan it's not even hooked up just wires hanging out there's wires just kind of hanging out everywhere we don't even know what some of them go to like look we got you know just wires hanging out there's a blob of wires here there's you know battery cables sitting there there's cables just sitting right there that aren't attached to anything and as i said it didn't run very good when we got it Uh, the mass airflow sensor it was unplugged and the cable was just hanging out down somewhere down there and we basically just had to plug it back in and this car runs like a champ now <laughs> race car well that's so much easier to drive yeah Plug in the map sensor, go figure. Now, for those of you that don't know what Lemons Racing is, let me give you a little explanation. 
Now, for some of you that have seen the movie Ford vs. Ferrari, that's 24 hours of Le Mans. That's a big prestigious race. It's a 24 hour endurance race, but you know, everybody has an, a budget of millions of dollars and they can spend all kinds of money on their car. And that's not something the average person like me can do. So what they came up with was the 24 hours of lemons, which the rules are basic. You get a car, it can't cost more than 500 bucks. There are rules in place that if it does cost a little more than 500 bucks, but the idea is that it's going to be the cheapest racing to get into. You go out with a beater car, you go race, you have fun. Now, generally, each car will have its own little different theme that they do. This one, as you might have noticed, is water themed. So you got waves. Uh, if we come over here and we look on the side, like I have my little puffer fish here hiding in the, where the, the fuel used to be. And there used to be a giant fish that used to be on the roof and that's gone. I don't know where it is. It didn't come with the car. So we're trying to figure out if we want to do something similar to that. Maybe possibly put a shark or some surfboards or something along the lines. Maybe a pirate ship. Who knows? We'll see what we want to do. So that explains the reasoning behind this car. It's my $500 lemons car. I bought it for 500 bucks. We're going to go race it. And that's why it looks like it looks. It's not a high-end professional race car like in 24 Hours of Le Mans. It is a lemon car, and this is what we race. So the guy we bought it from bought the car, got it running, but then never actually raced it. He said the one that he bought it from was the guy that raced it before. It was the last time it was raced was in 2018. That's what he said, and that's actually the last sticker we found on the windshield. We got that one right there. It says good enough for Sonoma of 2018. He also gave us a bunch of spare parts. We got to two totes full of ball joints and belts and all kinds of stuff for the car. We also got an extra hood. We also got a fender somewhere over there. And we also got like there's an extra axle sitting in here and a few other things to keep this car in top running shape while we're out on the track. So the only thing we really got to do is we got to address all the wiring. We got to fix the fan. We got to do some maintenance, oil changes, fluids, all that. We got to buy some new tires. We got to address the fuel tank and we got to get new seat belts. There's no seat belts in there. We got to get some new harnesses. We got to get some gear. I don't have the gear. He doesn't have the gear. We also got to get a couple more drivers and with just a couple of things, we will be ready to race. Hey, and if you guys want to see what me and Alec do to this car, fix it up and finally go racing at Lemons, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video.